Sorry. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? DJ Kevin over here. I'm going to talk about daisy chaining speakers. Now, is daisy chaining speakers good for your amplifier? <gasps> yeah. Yeah. That's all I have to say. All right. It's. Yeah. All right. Let me tell you. If you plug in your amplifier from over here, from the quarter inch, and then you daisy chain it to another speaker like that guy over there, or that guy up there, or this big hump of boo boo down here, it's a good thing. And, it's kind of a bad thing, let me show you. Alright, so, oops, my bad. So, if you plug in, yeah, uh, stupid. Alright, so, just imagine that this is from the amplifier, which is not because my amplifier is all the way over there, behind all this piece of junk. Um, just imagine this is from your amplifier, right? Plug it into there. That's an 8-ohm load. All right, because that's just a standard plug-in, and you're ready to go for one speaker into the amp. But just imagine you plug in a speaker like this 15-inch speaker over here, or that 10, or that 10, into the output over here. So actually, what you are really doing is... Where's the other one? All right, there we go. What you are actually doing, you are actually jacking the power up from the amplifier. So if you keep it like this, if you keep it like this with one power in from the amplifier, that's good enough. Because that's an 8 ohm load. Right? Right. But if you plug in a if you plug in another speaker from here, like that speaker, you are actually jacking the power up to 4 ohm load. So basically you have two woofers, one, two woofers shaken upset, one. Alright, so daisy chaining could be a really good idea, daisy chaining cannot, but it depends on your amplifier manufacturers if they could really take it. Um, some, manufacturer, some manufacturers like PV, Gemini, uh, QSC, sometimes they could jack up the power more than 4 ohms and 2 ohms. But, just one, just one quarter inch could be good enough because you're actually saving up power. So, just imagine you hook up another one. Uh, just imagine that this is, just imagine I have an amplifier that's from the other end of this, alright? That is about 800 watts. 800 watts, somewhere around there, right? And then if you plug this in, that does. If you plug in this one from that speaker over there, which is not, it's just a demonstration. Just imagine you plug that speaker, that speaker into here. What you're actually doing is, what I think, I think it's. This is what I think. That I don't think. I think that that speaker is getting the eight the 800 watts into it I'm not quite sure please if if I do something wrong over here please let me know because I've been DJing for years and I never ever ever jacked up my amplifier to a forum load before all right so I never 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 do that I never 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 do that so basically I like to stick it with an 8 ohm load all right so 8 ohms just imagine this is from the amplifier 8 ohms, I'm good to go, and I, and just imagine I have another amplifier like this on the other side, that's plugged in to the amplifier, so basically I'm having 8 ohms, 8 ohms, so both sides are getting 8 ohms, but just imagine I want 4, wo four woofers moving, like that one could hook up into this, that's 2 more woofers moving. No, one more wolf from moving, and then I plug in that one from the other side, then that'll be another wolf from moving. So basically, I just jack up the power to two, to, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, four ohms, I'm sorry. And then there you go, that's, that's a four ohm load. But, sometimes I don't like doing four ohm load because I think it overpowers the amplifier. Okay, that's my, that's my idea. So I like to stay, I like to stay with... Just one. Plugged in. So basically I got two of these. 
Well, actually, I have one because basically I use like a hundred percent of the times I use this as a monitor. That's why I bought it. And um, so basically, I like to have two woofers moving. But if I want to, like I said, I could just plug in that that speaker over there, from over here, to now jack that power up to a forum load. Which I don't recommend. But if you want to do it, go ahead. It's your rec it's your recommendation. Um, it's it's not really my recommendation to have that amplifier. I mean that speaker hooked up to this guy over here. I know it's made for that. That's why they have an output uh, speak on quarter inch whatever. I know the speaker is made to to uh, give the amplifier a two ohm load. But if I was myself, I wouldn't do it. I would just take I will just stick with two speakers. All right? So that's it. That's how you daisy chain. All right? So is it good or bad? Tell me that on the next tell me that on the comments below. All right? Is it good? Is it really really a good idea? Now listen, is it a really really good idea to jack the power up? If I plug that baby over there, is it good to jack the power up to a forum load? Tell me that in the comment below. Peace.